Bonacera, and good evening everybody, Mammoth Plan here, back in the amazing world of the Long Dark. Welcome back everybody, to the amazing world of, of the Long Dark, as I feel like I just mentioned. How are you all doing everybody? Hope you're doing well, I'm doing pretty great. Really excited about what's coming next, how's it going there Jeremiah? He's looking a bit better now, don't you think? I think he's looking a little bit better. As are we. In the last episode, we uh, got back from being lost in the Forlorn Musk Egg, and um, came back to the trapper after completing his final survival mission he told us all about what we have to do next let's check it out it's going to be pretty epic jeremiah's folly use your map to track the bear to his favorite hunts in mystery lake that is something we have to be taken care of i believe there's also a few side missions that we haven't checked out um the mystery lake supply caches is bugged by the looks of it um, which is really, really quite annoying. You can see they're all ticked, it's not working, I don't know why. Uh, Jeremiah has told you about the location of a hidden bunker in the Forlorn Musk Egg. Oh god, no. There are some letters there he wants you to burn for him. I'm really interested to check that out, and uh, I'm gonna read them. I'm, I'm definitely gonna read them before I burn them, and then just not tell him. It's gonna be totally fine. Uh, but the other thing, which I'm surprised isn't on here... Oh, wait, of course it is. Yeah, it's, um, it's the bear. It is the bear. Now, I was really curious about this because we only have one one bullet inside of our rifle. That's not a rifle cleaning kit. That is actually a rifle. Um, yeah, that's a super huge bad time. But as I logged in, I decided to check out that knife that he gave us. And look, there is eight more rounds here. I'm not sure how many it's going to take to bring down the bear. I think maybe five, I think, is what we need to do it. Um... So I'm really worried about that. That's definitely a thing. I want to make a couple of equipment changes. I want to pick up my better hatchet and we'll actually carry his amazing hunting knife that he's given us. We do have this distress pistol. I think I have another one that's actually in better condition. What are you? 88. Yep, let's take you. I want to bring the best of all of my equipment today uh, because I am very, very worried that something terrible is going to happen. Uh, can I unload you is my question. You may have a round inside oh no wait zero yeah it's got zero on there that's totally fine let's drop it on the floor all right excellent so that takes care of that let's pick up our amazing hatchet with 100 percent quality and we will drop down the garbo one of which i am carrying drop that and drop the other knife uh we'll keep the tin can in case i did happen to need it um things like the pry bar i might bring with us i'm not entirely sure i will bring some fishing tackles because we're not doing fantastic for food uh, so we're going to want to bring that. The hunting rifle itself, 85%. It's not looking too bad. We do have a couple of rifle cleaning kits knocking around here. That one's at full. That one's at full. Is this the one that I've been using? Yeah, it sure is. We'll use that. We'll try and improve that a bit. Grab our whetstone. We'll sharpen up our knives. We'll grab a load of these flares as well to protect us from wolfy encounters. How are we doing for our weight? Not fantastic. Not fantastic. Um, I feel like that's probably too many flares, actually. But hey, you know what? We're going for it. I've already fixed up all of my gear. We are very, very low on food. Uh, I want to make some coffee. I want to make some water. Double check that I've got everything that a man could possibly need in the way of things like bandages and antibiotics, painkillers, all of this stuff we're going to be taking with us. I think I'm carrying two emergency stims already. Feel like I am? No, one? Well, again, they're, they're kind of a last resort thing to be used anyway. I do have another wolf hide to go and pick up as well, but I have no use for them, as, as can be said about all these crow feathers. So I'm going to double check all of our kit, and we're going to head out into the beautiful world. Alright, that, I believe, is that. I'm pretty sure that I am in the best of the best that I could possibly be with the equipment that I have. I tell you what guys, I am so happy to see these rifle bullets. It's absolutely unbelievable. I am really, really happy that these are here. Let's go ahead and reload this guy. Boom, it gives us a total of nine rounds that we're carrying with us at the moment. There you go, one more, a couple more here. There you go. Yeah, lovely. Yeah, fill that up. Excellent. To the point where I actually started looking around on some of the forums uh, to see if anybody else has had the uh, terrible circumstance of getting all the way here and then finding they don't have any bullets left to kill the bear. Uh, and it has happened to a couple of people and there are some areas that we can go to um, if we have ran out of rounds. There's some other things I want to be checking out. We did manage to find ourselves another key for one of the lake cabins. So I want to be checking out over and around there a little bit more. Um, and we need to head back to the musk egg as well. But what's really worrying me... Oh yeah, these birch saplings. These guys are curing too. And these deer hides. Oh, we've got three there? I think we have three there. That's awesome. A few more of them, I'll be happy. Um, but what's really interesting to me is we cut our hand before we 
headed out. Or rather, we did that before we tried to head out the door at the end of the last episode. And apparently that's supposed to attract the bear. So I'm really worried we're just going to be constantly chased down by this thing. But nevertheless, let's head out into the world. I feel like we'll head over to the hunting cabin. Try and get ourselves some more fish. Um, and maybe have a look around for the bear. Or we could just head straight into the musk egg and see if we can discover this bunker. That could be a good idea. And if we encounter the bear along our way... Uh, that makes perfect sense. It did say to use our map to track him, but I can't see any kind of new markers on our maps at all, so I'm not really sure about that. Uh, also, I was just having a look a minute ago as well about the um, the supply caches that we've missed. This one has like a white fogging around it, whereas the other ones... Well, I guess they kind of do, don't they? We might head back up there as well. We'll see how we get along with time and see what we can get up to today. Let's check it out. Oh my Jesus God! What are you doing right here? What the hell? No, no bear! Bad, bad bear! Oh God! Oh God! Oh God! No! 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 I can't fight back or do anything about this, can I? No! Just stop! Stop it! Oh my good God! Oh. oh man, you stupid bear, he made me drop my coffee, oh, okay, medic, medic, good gravy god, how is he right outside our house, oh man, I am so gonna shoot you in the face, give me back, give me back my coffee, I'm a, I'm a gun. Give me that, give me that freaking gun. Wait. Oh man, all my stuff's been thrown around. What? Where is it? Some cattails and stuff that I had with me already. I'm just making sure I haven't lost anything here. Alright, you stupid bear. Alright. Alright. Payback time. You can track him. Oh, come on, what? You have got to be kidding me. Oh, man, how, how long? It never taken us that long to raise our weapon before. Never has it taken us that long to raise our gun before. All right, more of this, more disinfectant. So far, we're off to a cracking start trying to take down the bear. What the hell? Let's let's look for all of the stuff that would have been thrown around. Yeah, there's our gun. Oh, our condition is going to be, oopsie, absolutely terrible. Um, we could probably survive another attack, but I really wouldn't like to judge it. Alright, now it's payback time, you son of a bitch bear. I mean, we have no choice. This guy is going to be literally right here. But let's keep our crosshair trained on him straight from the off. Okay, I actually shot him and he still ran at us. What on earth? That was definitely a hit. That was definitely a hit. What kind of mission of hunting this guy down is this? We're just gonna get mauled by him again and again and again and again until we die? This is horrible. I feel completely helpless against this big, beautiful... Oh, and here we are again. On the floor. After being chewed on by the bear. Good God. He, I thought he would run after he got Gotta shot. Got bleeding. Yeah, tell me about it. <gasps> oh no, my clothing's all been wrecked. Oh, you suck, bear. Okay, we gotta get in. We gotta get in. All right, after that terrible, terrible term of events, I took it upon myself to make the executive decision of reverting to the last save, since we have lost an insane amount of a condition, a lot of my clothing and a lot of my equipment was destroyed by that damn forsaken freaking furry overgrown... Uh, you get the idea. So we are now going to be carrying 
all of our bandages with us. Um, I don't have any old man's beard, but I'm definitely going to be needing more antiseptic because we are going to get mauled by this thing another couple of times. Uh, but now we are prepared and well equipped, knowing what the future may bring for us. I believe I have got everything the same way that I had it before. Don't have a lot of disinfectant, really got to take care of that. All of our clothing is back to normal in tip-top shape, and we are ready to attempt this conglomeration again. But now we're ready for him. We know he's going to be here. Bring it on, you giant fuzzy wuzzy. Screw you, Yogi! You're right in the freaking head! Get out of here, you! Get out of it! You suck! Right in the face. Yeah. Not so tough now, are you, you big freaking... Super really did get the jump on us, though. Oh, my God. So got the jump on us. Well, now that we're, um... We've already done it. We saw my journal missions update there. Let's just have a quick little look here. Use your map to track the bear to his favorite hunt in Mystery Lake. One out of six bear encounters. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, right, okay, so we've done that one. Possible old bear location. Ah, right, okay. So we get a couple of markers around where he could be. All oh, right, all right, let's do it. Well, you know what else? Is we've actually hit him, so he's going to be bleeding, and he's left tracks. So let's actually go for it straight off the cuff here, guys. We may as well, since we've got the one up on him at the minute. Follow these blood trails, follow these footprints, and it should lead us back to the grizzly. Freaking thing, man. I am so peeved with it attacking me that many times and me being completely unable to defend myself. I want the vengeance. I want her retribution. I want payback. All that time that we were wasting bullets shooting at deer to learn how to shoot. We know how to do this now. Let's just keep our eyes out here because it's getting to a bit of blind corners, so we don't want this guy getting the jump on us. Uh, according to this, he ran directly into the street. Okay, no, here he goes. Right. Right, so his head up there. And straight over this ledge. Hopefully he's literally not going to be right on the other side of this hill waiting to attack us. But let's be prepared here. Okay, we've still got tracks. On the bright side, we have the high ground now. Okay, no sign of him. I'm wondering how long these tracks stay for. There he is. You freaking giant bear. Now we saw that we had to hit him right in the head at close range for us to be able to do this. Oh hey look, there's a box there. Uh oh. Oh here he comes. Oh here he comes. Alright. Come on you big beautiful bastard. Yes, right in the nose! Get out of it, Yogi! Oh, fantastic. Whew, oh man, my heart. My heart is going so much. Waiting for him to get that close to us is super terrifying. Is this what I think it is? Will we find ammunition in here? Oh, baby, we will. A single round. Another single round. Some more disinfectant. Absolutely beautiful. That's exactly what we need. All right, let's keep going. Let's keep tracking this guy down. You freaking hold for me, Weather. Hold for me. We're in the midst of the hunt. We've got to make sure I do this. I really didn't think we were going to be able to complete it. I really didn't. I thought with the amount of rounds that I had, that I had actually screwed the game. Okay, he's ran over that. So we should still find tracks. Yeah, here we go. Tracks and blood. Tracks and blood. Blood and tracks. Tracking him down. Okay, it's midday. The weather is starting to make a little bit of a change. Getting a bit darker. Some snow starting to fall. But I remain confident that we're going to be okay. I don't know really where these bears' locations are, and if there will be anywhere for us to make shelter if we have to. Hang on, hang on, blind, blind, blind ridge. I wasn't say blind corner, but it's not a corner, it's a hill. Okay, no, we're good. Alright. Oh no, with the slight snowfall, I think I'm going to lose his tracks. No, no, we're still good, we're still good. A couple of deer around that I would love to nail because I want the extra skins. But let's try not to get distracted here. Some old man's beard. That would be a good thing. Don't have the most amount of food is my other worry. And we are going to start to get hungry here. <laughs> Look at that just as he says it. <laughs> 
So it could be an idea to take down one of these deers and cook them up, but I'm not doing it. Oh, there he is. There he is. Now, we saw it last time. Just as I got a certain distance, he actually reared up. He turned around, raised on his back legs, and then came belting towards us. So in an area like this, it would probably be a good spot, because he's going to have to run straight at me. Unlike the wolves that run circles around you as soon as you get too close to them to try and make you lose your fire, it looks like this guy belts for you. Okay. Yeah, here he comes. And yeah, we got to wait. It's really tempting to try and make a shot now, but we do have to let him get close enough. Here he comes. Here he comes, here he comes, here he comes, here he comes, here he comes. Oh, no, he got me. No. No, you stupid bear. Damn it, no. Ugh. Damn it, Yogi. I'm pretty sure I had a good shot there, but apparently not. Ugh. Alright, one one more hit to my condition. Let's get a bandage on that uh, bear bite. And get some antiseptic on it. Use the lower quality stuff first. Let's take care of that. Let's find our weapon. Get it equipped. Check our hunger. We're not doing great. But we're not doing too bad. Now where would he have gone? He wasn't too far away the last time he jumped us and then wandered off. So I'm hoping we'll be able to track him back down pretty easily. This snow is starting to pick up. No, there's no sign of him. There's no sign of his tracks anywhere. Dang it! Oh, that's a huge pain in the butt. That's a huge pain in the butt. I'm not entirely sure. We're, uh, we're here at the frozen creek. Oh man, that is such a huge pain. So now we've actually got to try and find him before we can continue trying to hunt him down. Dang it. Dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it. Uh, we've got a fair few rounds, but not really as many as I would like to consider taking down a deer. I mean, we've got him a good couple of times, didn't we? We've, ha we've nailed him twice. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, three. Oh, three out of six bear encounters. Okay, so we have to encounter him three more times. Whether he will actually die on the sixth attempt of shooting him, I'm not sure. I didn't see the puff of blood when we nailed him last, though. I really didn't. I'm wondering if it might have just been a clear-up miss because we're hungry. Looking around to see if there's one of those other little supply caches somewhere that may have a bit more ammunition inside of it, but I'm not seeing any around. No, not at all. Alright, let's have ourselves some of these cattail stalks, give ourselves a little bit of hunger back for the time being. It's not going to be a lot, but it'll do us for a little while, and we can press onwards. If we really have to, we can take down a deer. Uh, we do have like eight rounds on us, so it's not super, super bad. That'll do us enough for the time being. So we're at the... This little frozen creek. So if we head northward, we can head back over to the clear cut. Which I believe is this way. And this weather's starting to change, and there is some shelter at the clear cut as well. And we can kind of take ourselves a break there. Maybe find some cloth. I should have been carrying a, a, a sewing kit as well to fix up my gear in between encounters would have been a good idea uh, so that he doesn't break all of our equipment again it would be really really nice there's a climbing rope up, rope up there am I going the right way? oh yeah that's the clear cut right, again let's keep our eyes out this is one of his little hunting areas you never know he could be around here big old bear like that, we should be able to see him quite clearly. I'm not seeing any movement at all though guys, I'm really not. I'm not seeing any movement at all. Ah, uh, hello. 
I have found myself another box here, though. This indeed may be more ammunition. It is indeed. I'm sure it is. You could use this. One, two, and an old man beard wound dressing. Yeah. Always something to disinfect your wounds from when he mauls your face. And some more bullets to potentially take him down. Let's load him up. Gives us a full chamber. We can definitely take down a deer if we had to now. So this is one of his encounter areas. He's obviously not here. And you know what? We're actually doing pretty good. Our condition isn't too low. We're not super tired. We're, we're a little bit hungry still, but we can deal with that. That's not too bad. Um, let's see if we could potentially push onwards to his next area. So we're here. Uh, the other area is actually over here by that logging camp, and that's where the uh, structures are. So yeah, if I continue along this way, we may have another chance of finding him. Ah, the old bear. How the tables have turned, my friend. You got the jump on us from the start. Got a good three... three attacks on us, I think it was. Ruined all my clothing. But now we were prepared, and the hunter has come. The hunter has now become the hunted. We will find him. Okay, I'm pretty sure this is the logging camp. Yeah, these little set of structures where we were once before. At least I'm pretty sure that there's some deer up there. Could really be a good idea since we're on this exploration. Let's have a little bit of a mosey around. This weather is definitely changing. It's really not going to take long for it to get really, really cold around here and the visibility is going to drop and it's going to be nearly impossible to track this guy down but let's have a little scope about you might find him here uh, we also know if this is one of the encounter areas there should be another supply cache somewhere no no sign of him we've been having a good little walk around no sign of him no sign of a supply cache anywhere quite yet yeah Weather is definitely starting to change on us, though. Weather is definitely starting to change. I'm more now having a look around for this little supply cache uh, than actually looking for the bear, but I've had no luck in tracking it down quite yet. Normally, they're not too hard to find. The other two were kind of out in the open, um, so it wasn't a huge, huge problem for us to see it. But I'm not finding this one as easy. Weather is definitely changing, not tending to be such a good time, so I think it's probably best we head back, maybe nail one of those deer. Uh, to be able to give us some food. It's starting to get to the end of the day now, so I feel like we've lost our opportunity for the day. But we've done well. We have hit him twice, and uh, three encounters tracked in total, which is also really good. So hopefully we'll be able to find him the rest of the way in the next episode, I'm hoping. But definitely all that we're going to be able to do for today. Let's head back, uh, nail ourselves one of those deer nearby, skin that guy up, and uh, take some shelter inside the little cabins that are down here would be a good idea last thing we want to be doing is running around looking for this guy in the middle of a blizzard that would be a really bad idea I'm still keeping a real good eye out don't you guys worry about that I am still keeping a real good eye out for this dude no sign of him anywhere though I feel like he may have escaped our grasp so that's definitely a thing, if you get a hit and you can follow his tracks and such, but if he gets you, you lose him and you've got to try and track him down again. Let's see how we do with taking down one of these deer. Now, it's weird, we had a good little bit of play with this, we were trying to go for headshots at first and weren't getting anywhere, um, and then we found actually just hitting them in the body was far, far more effective at taking them down. But then we came over here and any ones that we shot just ran away. Even though they were injured, they just ran and ran and ran. So that's a huge pain. What I have realized, though, is we can actually get really freaking close to these things. If we crouch and we just take our time to approach our prey. The problem is they walk faster than I do, so it ends up that they walk away from you and you're just, you're just losing ground. You see this guy here just in front of us looking right at us? Yeah, buddy, how's it going? Yeah, you're walking towards me. That's freaking great. All right. 
You shall be lunch. Boom. Swing, and he's down. Excellent. That will definitely do us very well. We'll get this guy. We needed more deer skins as well, so this is always a good find for us. 10 kilo of meat. Oh, baby. That's a lot of grub. We'll take the hide. We don't need the gut. Um, yeah, the knife will be fastest. Yum, yum, yum. That's a lot of flesh. And that, as you can see, is the sun just starts to go down. We've got plenty of meat. We'll leave this outside uh, and get ourselves some sleep. And we'll uh, cook this stuff up in the morning. Hopefully the weather will be better. We'll have ourselves a full belly and a little bit more light Something's to be able go. to continue our hunt of this giant bear. But that's definitely all the time I'm going to have for tonight there, guys. Thanks very much for coming to join me. I hope you've enjoyed it and uh, learned a little bit about how you tackle the bear, perhaps, if you guys haven't played through this part quite yet already. Um, I'm really enjoying it. It's been amazing times. Can't wait to go and check out what a bunker is. I've never seen one of those before. And I'm really looking forward to getting this bed down and learning what else is going on here and what we have to do next. Really want to push on a little further. If you guys are enjoying it, do me a huge, huge favor. Hit the like button for me. Greatly will appreciate it. And if you're looking forward to more, don't forget to hit the subscribe button too so you don't miss out on any episodes that are coming to the channel in the next few days. Okay. And as for always, everybody, take care all the best. I greatly love you all, and I can't wait to see you all again soon.